Welcome to the DEF CAM. Pakistan's pursuit of complete engine autonomy through the JF-17 PFX program reflects a strategic recalibration after decades of dependence on foreign power plants. Every embargo or conditional spare part in the past underscored how vulnerable frontline aviation assets had become due to imported propulsion systems. With no guarantees of uninterrupted support, especially during conflict or crisis, this reliance became a national liability. The operational bottlenecks faced in maintaining legacy mirages and the unpredictable availability of support for the F-16 fleet confirmed that true aerospace capability could not be separated from self-sufficiency in propulsion. This strategic awakening led to Project ASM and the designation of PFX as the central pillar to unlock full-spectrum aerospace sovereignty. Pakistan's aerospace engineers took the challenge of propulsion beyond incremental upgrades. The PFX initiative is not a rebadging of foreign solutions, but rather a deliberate and phased transition toward designing, manufacturing, and integrating jet engines optimized for local conditions and threats. One of the most significant shifts lies in the decision to evolve beyond a single-engine configuration. The proposed twin-engine setup not only increases redundancy and payload but reflects the underlying intent to move toward a larger power envelope potentially exceeding 17 tons of takeoff weight. The airframe redesigned to accommodate such propulsion systems includes a combination of diverter-less supersonic inlets, internally housed weapons, and radar-absorbent composites, which collectively suppress radar returns and increase survivability. Thermodynamic limits long hindered indigenous propulsion. The combustion chamber must handle extreme heat levels generated during sustained afterburning. Pakistani engineers with help from metallurgical research at national labs and foreign collaboration where permissible, have developed high-temperature-resistant alloys. The breakthrough came with locally produced single crystal turbine blades, which maintain structural coherence under centrifugal and thermal loads near 1,700 degrees Celsius. Pakistan's research institutes also developed advanced ceramic thermal barrier coatings to shield internal engine parts from thermal fatigue and oxidation. This shift from theoretical capability to test bench validation marks the crossing of a key threshold. Overcoming early failures in compressor stage synchronization and flame holding instability required multi-cycle simulation and iterative prototyping. By integrating telemetry-enabled engine cores into ground-based testing frameworks, real-time stress and efficiency data now feedback directly into design revisions, reducing lag between concept and application. The PFX effort does not rely solely on the public sector. An ecosystem is being cultivated where private manufacturing clusters, previously limited to machining or airframe component supply, are now actively engaged in producing turbine disks and contributing to full authority digital engine control development. This distributed approach to supply chains adds resilience. It also opens the door for long-term modularity which means the same propulsion core can be scaled or adapted for other platforms, from unmanned combat drones to future strike aircraft. In parallel, operational validation continues through existing platforms. The JF-17 Block 3, while still using imported engines, functions as a live carrier of many PFX subsystems. These include advanced avionics, wide-angle head-up displays, radar integration, and power management units designed to match the electrical demands of next-generation engines. Over two dozen such airframes are in testing, logging data on performance, electromagnetic compatibility, and thermal management in live flight profiles across varying altitudes and humidity conditions. Structural redesign plays a silent but crucial role. Wind tunnel testing conducted in 2024 at Kamra confirmed a 60% reduction in frontal radar cross-section due to recontoured inlets, edge-aligned panels, and the elimination of corner reflectors in bay geometries. These changes, initially implemented to support fifth-generation airframe goals, are equally critical in adapting engine bay architecture for internalized power plant integration. The shift from belly-mounted to buried engine layouts affects thermal distribution and maintenance access. Pakistan's engineers have responded by developing modular nacelle frameworks that decouple structural and thermal loads, making inspection and replacement of engine cores feasible without full disassembly. Looking at long-term force structure planning, PFX is not isolated. 
The parallel acquisition of stealth aircraft such as the J-35 allows Pakistan to field fifth-generation capabilities immediately, while the domestic program matures. This dual approach mitigates operational gaps and provides combat data to inform indigenous design. The stealth platforms already integrated with long-range weapons and passive sensor fusion systems create an environment where Pakistan can refine network propulsion integration without direct combat exposure. Moreover, airworthiness standards and heat signature tolerances observed in those imported fighters now act as performance benchmarks for Pakistan's upcoming engines. The strategic implications go beyond national defense. A successful PFX engine positions Pakistan among the few countries with sovereign propulsion capability. This allows tailored responses to regional threats without vulnerability to sanctions. It also introduces the potential for exporting airframes, possibly minus sensitive systems, to partner nations seeking affordable stealth-capable platforms. For states in the global south unable to secure top-tier fighters due to cost or political restrictions, such aircraft powered by a Pakistani core engine represent a unique market opportunity. Simultaneously, the engineering skill base and testing infrastructure established through PFX lay the foundation for high-speed propulsion technologies, from long-range unmanned aerial vehicles to future hypersonic research. Pakistan's internal drive to reach full airframe and engine sovereignty by the early 2030s is also a reflection of larger geostrategic realities. Adversaries continue to deepen military-industrial cooperation with leading suppliers, diversify inventories, and impose diplomatic blockades. Against this backdrop, dependence on vulnerable supply chains is strategically unacceptable. Whether through spare part manipulation, maintenance deferrals, or software restrictions, external actors have previously delayed operational readiness. PFX is the answer a program designed to insulate core capability from foreign influence. Every core, every blade, every line of control software built and tested domestically transforms aerospace theory into applied sovereignty. It changes the nature of air power in the region because it denies the enemy one of its key assumptions, that Pakistan will always be limited by external approval cycles. The ripple effects span not only defense posture but research capability, educational pipelines, and civil-military synergy. Engineering students now intern at propulsion testbeds. Universities expand to bow machinery labs. Industry conferences discuss thermal fatigue and active cooling loops, not as borrowed ideas, but as domestic challenges. PFX is not just an engine. It is an inflection point in national development. It ensures that when Pakistan flies into contested airspace a decade from now, it does so not just with indigenous wings and sensors, but with sovereign thrust forged under its own flag, maintained by its own industry, and guided by its own engineers. That level of independence is the true force multiplier. Thanks, and stay tuned for the upcoming videos.